Hello friends and welcome to my channel and welcome to Fall Food Month. Every day this month I'm going to be posting recipes for fall friendly foods that are lower carb and maybe keto friendly but they're definitely holiday worthy. So today I am making a holiday rendition of a classic but I'm also having to make a bread to serve it on. So I'm going to be making a holiday chicken salad and then I'm going to be making a keto friendly bread, a protein bread. Um, this is only the second time that I've made it but the first time it was really good. So fingers crossed I'm going to be able to do this again. So first I'm going to get the bread going, get that in the oven, and then I will show you how to make the holiday chicken salad. So let me show you first what you're going to need to make the bread. Okay, so I'm using my stand mixer. You can use a hand mixer if you want to. I've got a cup of liquid egg whites. I've got two more egg whites. And then I have the two yolks over here. I actually have things in the order that they're going to be added so that I stay on track. Um, you're going to need cream of tartar. Protein. This is a protein powder. Um, unflavored. A zero carb isopure to be exact. Um, you can also use egg white. Uh, not egg white powder. But that is really expensive and so I use this. Um, you're also going to need some nutritional yeast, some xanthan gum, not xanthum, like I always say, xanthan gum, some confectioner's uh, sugar that is not sugar, a stevia blend, I use pure, some salt, and then those two egg whites, and I've also got um, a spray to spray my bread pan. The last time I made this, I actually made it into bun shapes. This time I'm going to try it in a bun pan, a bun pan, in a bread pan. So let's get started. This is not hard at all. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is, oh, and I've, I just set the oven to preheat at 325. So now we're going to get started with our egg whites. You're going to put one cup of egg whites plus those two more. We're going to add one teaspoon of cream of tartar and we're going to get this blending. Okay, so now that the egg whites have started turning white, it's time to add the protein powder. You guys, please don't make fun of these measurements and I'm sorry I can't be more precise. This is actually how um, the girl in the video that I watched did it. Um, and so yeah, I will put a link to that video below. And you can see for yourself, I just, this is how she did it y'all. So I added four heaping tablespoons with a kitchen spoon of the protein powder into the mix. Here we go. And then I rake down the sides just a little bit. And then I add the nutritional yeast. It helps with that bread-like flavor. And so that's what I'm adding right there. Next, we are adding the Zanfen gum, one teaspoon. I also added one teaspoon of the nutritional yeast. And here goes these measurements again. Two heaping tablespoons of pure. So there is that. All right, and next up, I'm turning it up, letting it come to some stiff peaks. And next, we are going to add, I believe, the salt. Yes, there's one and two little, what do you call that, pinches of salt. And now it's time for the egg yolks. But I'm waiting to make sure that I'm, I've got some stiff peaks. Once I get those stiff peaks, I put in the egg yolks one at a time. 
and I think this might be where I mess up. Other than those measurements of the tablespoons, y'all, um, this, it just didn't incorporate very good. Um, and I think I may have over mixed this after adding the white. I mean, I'm sorry, after adding the yolks. And so now I'm spraying my pan. Y'all see how good I'm spraying this pan? I should not have a problem. All right, we definitely have stiff peaks. It doesn't look like it quite folded all the way in. All right. Now, this will stay in the form you put it in. It's not really going to transform. Okay. I'm going to put this in the oven and I'm going to use the rest for a bun. Okay, we're gonna set the timer for 35 minutes. Let me clean this up a little bit, and now we're gonna make our chicken salad. All right, so while the bread was cooking, I was planning on whipping up the chicken salad. Well, I started getting my ingredients together and was like, oh shoot, I forgot that I don't have any water chestnuts. That's one of the ingredients, water chestnuts. Luckily, my little corner store has an Asian section and they sell water chestnuts. So I went to the store, got back, realized it only took me seven minutes to do that because I was trying to get back before my timer ran out. So anyway, so I get that taken care of. I come back, I start putting my ingredients together again and I realize oh, <laughs> I'm almost out of mayonnaise. I don't have enough mayonnaise. Another one of the ingredients, don't have enough mayonnaise for my project. And so I went back. So now I'm hot. <laughs> but anyway, but we're gonna we're gonna make it work and the first thing we're gonna do y'all is because <laughs> little miss preparedness not um i'm gonna use some cream cheese and i didn't i didn't let it get to room temperature this is maybe about just that much maybe a third of an eight ounce thing something like that i think that's gonna be enough <laughs> And since it's not room temperature, I'm gonna put it in the microwave. Don't look at that, don't look at that. Oh. It's a mess, okay. I'm gonna put it in for like 22 seconds. Oh, there's an ant. Excuse me if you see an ant. It's an ongoing battle. We prefer Dukes, but my little country store does not carry Dukes mayonnaise. I mean, what's up with that? They they carry water chestnuts, but not Dukes mayonnaise. Okay, so let's see. All right, let's see, is that, oh yeah. Yeah, 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 baby, that's good. Okay, so there's that. I've got clean spoons for everything. We're gonna put in about that much mayonnaise. We gonna lighten that a, a little bit with yet another spoon. I'm gonna lighten that up. I'm gonna lighten that up with some yogurt. Well, I don't need as much. Just a little, get a little for the tang, okay? All right. I'm not getting out the mixer this time, y'all. So I'm just gonna mix. Mmm, oh my goodness, y'all. <laughs> mm -mm, that's good. Okay. Now, put a little salt. I'm gonna put a little pepper. Oh my goodness. Being all fancy. Alright. Oh, no. Okay, there's your salt and pepper. 
right, y'all. So I told you this is going to be holiday chicken salad. We're bringing in, y'all, we're bringing in a little bit of our maple syrup. Oh, my goodness. I love the dark. The darker they are, the richer the flavor. Just a little bit. Our low carb is going to come from the bread being low carb and gluten free and grain free and all that stuff. All right. can't really taste it. Let's do a little more. I want to be able to taste it. Mmm. Mm, I tasted that. So we're going to add in our maple syrup. Mmm. Okay. And now we're going to put that aside and we're going to need to chop, chop. No. I was supposed to get sliced, thinly sliced, but I didn't. But that's okay. Because I've done this before and I just chopped them up and they were still, they still had that wonderful texture. I do not like celery. And so I use... I use water chestnut for that crispy, crunchy texture that you get from celery. Yeah. This is trying my patience. Okay, now I'm going to add my water chestnuts. If you like red and green peppers, you can add red and green peppers. I'm not adding them because I've just recently grown to tolerate them. <laughs> and while, it, especially green and red, oh my goodness, y'all. Um, let me turn the timer off and let me look. I'm afraid it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't quite look right. I may have ever whipped it, but let's. Let me, hmm, hang on y'all, I gotta, let me check it and see if it's done. All right, would you like to see, would you like to see what it looks like? Let me get you up here so you can see. Let me back you up a little bit. So I guess it does rise a little bit, but then it sinks. Ah! <laughs> but we're gonna let it cool before we do anything with it. So let's get back to what we were doing. I have my water chestnuts. Now, next holiday ingredient. Of course, y'all know. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. Y'all know me. Don't, don't knock it till you try it. Cloves, again, y'all are gonna learn. Anything holiday usually means there's probably cloves in it. Um, but I was thinking clove goes with chicken. Clove goes with um clove goes with barbecue and things like that and it is just one of those things that like we always have stuff with cloves clove goes with cranberry sauce mm. put as much as you want boop, boop, boop. or don't put any at all okay so let's get back over here. You can, uh, oh, it's a mess everywhere, y'all. It's a mess everywhere. Um, okay. Let me start this out again. Next holiday ingredient. We're gonna put in da -da -da -da, cranberries, of course. Boom. About two handfuls of cranberries. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is chop up. Oh, what a waste. We're gonna chop up an apple. All right, so now we have the apple. Getting closer, y'all. Next holiday ingredient, pecans. 
Okay, we're gonna get about a handful. That will probably be enough. All right, so now we have our chopped pecans. This almost looks like that dip I made. <laughs> All right, and the last thing to add Dum -da -da -dum, is chicken. Let's see how this is. Alright, that looks good. You could add grapes if you want to, but I'm not adding grapes because I've got apples and cranberries in there. Well, let's get a taste. Alright, so let's see what it tastes like. Mm hmm. Alright, mm hmm. That's good. Alright, so let me show you the small piece of bread. It's it spread out. It held its shape better last time. I think I probably over whipped it. But waste not, one if not. And so I'm still gonna just cut it in half. <laughs> Let's see what it's like. <laughs> it's a little holly on the bottom. That's all right. That was my own fault. Where is a spoon or a fork? I'm actually gonna put it on this one that has no holes. And we have our sandwich. I mean, it really does take a lot of bread. A lot closer than any bread I've had so far. But I think I just want an open face sandwich. So if you're having a holiday get together and you're just having sandwiches and snacks, I would definitely recommend the holiday chicken salad. I'm still working on the bread though. I mean, it tastes good, but I wouldn't take it to a holiday get together just yet. But it tastes good. <laughs> All right, I've never cooked this bread in a cast iron skillet before. Last time I made a, I made small piles on a cookie sheet. Um, so this was new and I don't think it worked. You see how long well ago it was, hang on, there. See how it had risen and now it fell? And I believe it is sticking. So I wouldn't do that next time. And y'all saw how much I sprayed it and it's just like, nope. I'm gonna leave a link below to the YouTube video where I learned about this bread. It does taste good and I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but go and watch her video because I promise it is amazing. It tastes really good and, and hers doesn't do this. Now I also use protein powder instead of egg whites and I don't know if that could be the big difference. Um, oh wait, is it starting to come out? <gasps> y'all, maybe I just needed to get it unstuck around there. Hang on y'all, let me see if I can get this out. I think my biggest problem is actually impatience. In, in, yeah. I think my biggest problem is impatience because I don't let it cool first. Hang on y'all. I do need another box. Mm. 
smoke at it. Or not. Next time, I think I'm just going to have to let it rest. I just don't want to do that part. I want it now. Yeah, I saw it. But as you can see, I mean, it even looks like bread. Can you see that? I mean, I mean, I messed it up, y'all, but look. Do you see that? I mean, can you not just see how bready it is? How on earth meringue turns into bread? I don't know. One of these days, though, I'm going to figure out how to do it without it falling. And until then, go check out that other video that I'll link below on how to make this because it is so good. But really, you really need to make the chicken salad. Mmm, it's so good. All right, y'all, so that is it for today. I'm exhausted and I'm hot and I think I'm having a hot flash. But I will tell you, this is good. Go make the holiday chicken salad for your next get together and you won't regret it. Bye, y'all.